digging in my blueberries. This is war. This is war. We're at the plot. So we made it to the plot again. Finally. Looks like we're the only ones here. Brought up some muck. Just close the gate. They seem to have chopped all but that one tree. All of them all the way along. Everything's been removed. But I guess we do have some wood chip. Hmm. And some logs, which we're allowed to take too. Let's go and have a look at those. Hmm. We may take some of these home, dry them out, and use them for stuff. Okay, so it is the 4th of February. Um, we haven't been up the plot in weeks and weeks because, um, well, it's been constantly raining for a start and I broke my wrist on Christmas day and um, my dad passed away on the 5th of December. I'm just going to check the notice board. Um, so there's an accumulation of everything. We've not really been up. Um, nope, nothing new for a long time. But um, we're going to see what the storm damage is. Oh, good gosh. Um, from the last few storms that we've had, at least the greenhouse still looks like it's up. That's good. How am I supposed to get in here? Fence is down. I'm just going to climb over. I'm just going to climb over. Okay. I'm at the allotment. That's not over for some reason. Um, we have had the plot for a year now, from January the 28th. And I think I can say that it was in better condition when we first got it. Um, this looks a bit wobbly. I'm gonna have to sort this out. Um, garlic's doing well. I put these in in October, I think. Hello. That was a little dunnock. And something has been enjoying my shallots. I think it's fair to say I'm not getting many of those. It's all been dug up and nibbled. Never mind. We've got our new plot now as well, so that's not an issue. Um, this we've decided not to take on because we've got the new plot as well, so it just seems silly to take that on. So we're going to give some of our old plot to my mum. She's going to have that bottom bed behind the blue stand so she can grow what she likes. Um, I need to prune the gooseberry. Do lots, really. Gosh. I think it's fair to say, folks, we've got rabbits. Yep, there's rabbit poo everywhere. So that's gonna make this year fun. I wonder if we've got any cabbages left. Let's find out. They've had a bit, but they haven't killed them. I think what I'm going to do is put something over the top of these today and give them a chance to grow back. They're still alive, so that's good. I don't think we've got any damage. It just looks really sparse. Water pot's over, and um, the compost is over. But the greenhouse, or Salem, as Rue has named her, Oh, there's a chair blocking the way. Oh, 
Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. I'm going to close the door. <laughs> there we go. Greenhouse is fine. Oh, I'll say that. You've got a tiny bit of glass missing there. Can you see that? Other than that, I think we're good. Which is nice to know. So, today, um, I broke my wrist on Christmas Day and it was only a very, very minor break. It was more of a soft tissue and um, bone bruising than anything. Uh, so we said keep the splint on until the end of January or after that when you're going to do anything. So I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of digging today because it's drove me nuts not being able to do anything. Um, I want to take out that half of the blackberry bushes but I think that might be a bit much for me. But we'll, we'll have a go. I might take up some raspberry canes. Um, I've got some news to share with you about this plot and our change of plans for the year. Um, but I'm just going to go and get everything sorted, check in the shed. And I'll be back with you in a bit. Bye bye. Right, I've covered the cabbages with wire. Al is making a um, manure pile over there. We don't use that path ever. And it also gets really weedy, so we're just chucking all the manure there to rot down. So I've covered the cabbages with chicken wire. Hopefully that'll give them a bit more of a chance. And I've covered the end of this bed with cardboard. You ready to go? Yep, right. No, we're not going. What we're doing is our friend, a couple of plots down, is having to give up her plot. But she's really sad and she's not exactly happy about it but it's the way it is so before the vultures descend she told us to go and have a look at what we want from her plot so let's take a walk up oh look at these how beautiful are they lovely little snowdrops spring is on the way I guess those pot holders over here are going to be glad have those trees been cut down because it casts so much shade onto their plots but it's not very nice right so here we are oh sleepy right there's a division hers is this side and we can take what we like. Woohoo! <laughs> if we can get in. There we go. She did a lot of work on here, so it's sad that she's having to give it up. But we're definitely having this. Do you think she'll give us the palette collars? Maybe take those. Oh, she's got onions growing, and they're actually doing much better than mine. <laughs> Another palette colour. The pier is um, lots of different fruit trees and bits and bobs, which she never got up this far. So, my plot neighbour who's next to us on my plot, his wife owns this half. So I'm assuming she'll want to take all of it because she did want a full plot. Um, so, should we go look in the shed? Let's go look in the shed. Oh, the ground's so squidgy. It's only rained yesterday, this week, and then it wasn't heavy rain, was it? So we've had nearly a week with no rain and the ground is still absolutely sodden. It's horrid. Plenty of wood. Some hoops, some bits of bobs. Cool. Sure we can make use? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we just take the frame for now? Yeah? We'll just take the frame for now and then I will ask her about the pallet collars and the wood in the shed, just to be sure. I don't want to overstep my boundaries. Oh. They're growing some nice cabbages. I think everything's getting nibbled. 
isn't it? Okay, we're going to get this down to our plot and um, we'll see you in a bit. Right then, artichokes. I thought I'd come here today and take a couple home. And as you can see, the blasted rabbits have had a feast. That's okay, there's still something that they haven't. And to be honest, I'm not that fussed on them. So, oops, sorry. Um, I don't mind if we don't get all of them. And we won't be taking any of these with us to the new plot. So, I'm going to do a one-handed dick. Because, woo, maybe this won't work. <laughs> the ground is really soft, so let's see what we can get. I think I've just gone for a tuba. Oh yes, I did. Oh wow. So, oh, look at these. One artichoke plant. And we have plenty here. This will do us. I'm going to show you what to Hey, plenty. Plenty. There's loads still in the ground. There's some slug damage. There always is with artichokes, I find. They love them. There you go, I might take up maybe that one there as well. But I'll go a bit further out this time. I can't remember how many we put back in last year. I think it was about ten. Ah, I'm dropping you. I'm dropping you. There we go. That's a nice one. I like the ones that are a bit straighter and not as knobbly. Makes them easier to process and use. Now, there is a saying that these cause um, windy side effects, shall we say. But I have never found that, but that may be because we are vegetarian and we live off beans and lentils and everything like that. So, not as many on that one. So, our body is used to digesting that kind of thing. Anyway, right, the bean frame we've got over here now. Um, I'm going to explain to you now why we're not putting the pond in here after all and why we won't be doing all the plans that we wanted to do this year. Um, basically we found out that um, the people who own this farmland and the industrial estate over there have earmarked this land for development. Um, we knew this when we took on the plot but they said it was going to be probably about five years before they actually wanted the land but it turns out it may be just one more growing season so by March 2018 we'll be out. Um, I'm quite disappointed but we are moving just in the distance. You can see houses. In front of them houses is loads of farmland. Now it's on a slope and it's clay and it floods but because I'm already a plot holder I should get choice of plots. So we only get to move across the road, which is actually easier for us to get to. But it's not the point really, is it? It's like you, you put your heart and soul into a plot and then find out you've got to move. I made all these big plans of all the things we're going to do. And it turns out there's no point. There's no point at all. Everything will be ripped out of here before we know it. So our new plan is we were going to take all of those raspberry canes out and all of these black currants. But what we're going to do now is clear half of these black currants maybe up to this water butt here and that's where the raspberries end too. And then we've got this here as a growing space which we are going to move the pile of um, composting materials that we never did anything with and the um, pallets and we're going to cover this and leave it for a bit and then use it for something late planting such as squashes um, it'll cover the ground nicely this was going to be for our first early potatoes um, and we were going to dig out all of this area move the pond and then we were going to do move these all these raspberries and give a lot of them away and move those to a row up between our two plots and then have this as a big herb bed um, like a rockery and a seating area, a bit of shade um, and now we are just leaving the raspberries because what's the point? 
all that work for nothing. But what we do do is take out some of these suckers. So from this tree here, we'll probably take all these out and extend these beds down a bit or make another little narrow bed along here. And then we've got all of this plot, which is our no dig, which looks a mess, but that's fine. It's got stuff under there, it's rotting down. This bed here, which we had brassicas in last year, is going to be for my mom because she was going to take on that half plot um, with us. But there's no point, it's just too much work when we've got our other plot as well. Excuse me one moment, just root around my pocket. Um, so she's going to have this. And then over there is the fruits and the cold frames and there will be a squash frame there. Um, I keep beans here, but I might grow some squash up there as well this year. And then this is going to be our, our mixed bed of, um, you know, our leeks and um, beetroots and everything like that. And I think sweet corn's going over here. I'm not sure. I'll have to consult my revised plan. Um, these beds will probably stay, and then we'll develop two long beds down here with path in between, and then like this one at the end, like I said, storage area may as well stay as it is flower bed will stay the same um rue is still going to have her bed even though the rabbits seem to like it a lot and then this from see the pot there all the way down or as far as needed will be potatoes and we're growing our main crop this year are going to be valor and we are growing our first earliers um which are aaron pilot in pots um and then we'll have beans across here as usual in here I'm going to sieve a nice trench and do some carrots in the ground this year as well as in the pots because I'm feeling lucky. I might be crazy, it's never going to work. Maybe I'll just need to get root to sow the seeds because that's the only way any, any carrots ever seem to grow. So I'm quite disappointed because I was looking forward to having this lovely pond and wildlife area here um, and this spinned big herbary because I need to grow a lot of herbs for cooking and for my work um, but what can you do so I'll let you know when we move or when the plan is for us to move and maybe we can go and see the ground before most people do and pick out our plot but this year we'll be growing up here mainly things that don't need our attention ever, like all the time and then things like tomatoes and other things will be down at the other plot and we're going to make that as productive as possible because if we don't want to move to the new plot then at least we've still got that um still got our old no, new 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 plot um yeah i wish my wrist wasn't damaged i can do so much now but at least the rebar is coming through through the weeds which is going to be nice. Looking forward to rhubarb this year. I'm looking forward to rhubarb and gooseberry jam when I learn how to prune my gooseberries, which I should have done by now, probably. That one is a bit more open after I had a little go, but this one, yeah, my gosh. Yeah, they're going to take some work. I'm hoping that these trees produce something this year. Last year, the, the guy who had this pot just hacked them back and they didn't produce anything, like not a thing. Which is a real shame. Well, if we can get something off them, that would be nice. So, um, I don't think I've got any more to tell you. I'm going to sort out my artichokes and then I'm going to go home and sow some seeds because I've not sown a single seed yet this year, not one. Um, so I'm going to start off my chilies and sweet peppers I think and do my leeks and if I can find my onion seed I'll do that and then I'm going to do um, some celeriac for my mom and there's some flowers that I need to start off like cleome which need to start in February because they take ages to germinate um, but they're worth it because they're so pretty so yeah there we go that's our update sorry it's not very interesting thank you for watching bloody rabbits um and when we do some more i'll show you but we will be up here again soon i need to start digging i just need to get some strength back in my wrist there's only so much that al can do especially when rue doesn't like the cold so yeah oh, they've been digging in my blueberries 
This is war. This is war. Um, right, I'm going to go get the child home, get some seeds sown. So, from Ophelia's allotment, thank you for watching. Um, please do hit the subscribe button. We're nearly at 500, which is crazy because all I do is waffle. Um, and I do promise I will do a shout out of videos that are below 1,000 subscribers um, because of the new YouTube changes. And regardless of below 1,000 subscribers, I'm not looking there's a few people that I love watching and I'd like to share with you guys. So I will get onto that soon. So see you soon. Thanks for watching. Hello, Trouble. I just thought I would do a little chicken update whilst um, I have the camera. Okay, I'm going to get in. I'm just going to stand here. Let me in! So, this is Celine. You're my shadow, aren't you, baby? You are, yes. You're my shadow. And Bluebell. <laughs> Was that a good scratch? There's Bluebell. And this is Mogwai, who is one of the ones that we rescued just before Christmas. She is um, a bit of a bully. She looks very beautiful and she seems really gentle with us, but she's a right bully. You get in there. Get in there. And this is Gypsy. She's another one of our rescue hens. Here comes Ava. Hey Chuck, you alright? Pardon? Where is <laughs> um, And up here, I'll zoom in and see if I can show you, because if I go near her, she will run. Um, madam, in. This poor little thing. Can you see her? Get off my foot! Celine, we're going to fall out. Look, my foot is not a toy. <laughs> I'm going to have to do this from outside. Oi, you! You! Come here. Come here. So, as we were saying, Screech is in there. You didn't really get a chance to see her, did you? That's Gypsy. Cheeky lady. <laughs> I know. And there's Fluffy back there. Um, she is fine and dandy now. Nice and cheeky as usual. Get out of the bag. Get out of the bag. What are we going to do with you? It's getting dark now, isn't it? I think it's time you went to bed. Get out of the bag. <laughs> hey, my boy. It's getting too dark to film. You want a bit? This, this, this bit here. Here, here. Now look, everyone wants them now. Now what are we going to do? Go on, my boy. Here. Gypsy. There you go. I'm just ripping apart my cauliflower for you. Never mind. Have it more. Go on, get it. Alright, I'm going to stop filming so I can control these fiends and I'll see you soon guys. Bye! There's Screech. Look how messy she is. The poor thing. Poor thing. Hey Screech! Say bye bye, Zelly. She said, subscribe, like, and comment bye. below. Comment below, she said. There, she said, comment below, then. <laughs> She's a good girl.